Welcome back. And finally, we're joined by Lutachuku Jacinta Obianuju Emilia, <coughs> popularly known as the Lutachuku. Now, she gained popularity after starring in the popular Nigeria T Nigerian TV series Jennifer's Diary. And she's been in so many other amazing projects since then. And it's just so great to have you back in the studio with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, so honestly, um, there's so many things people are doing this season, um, but you decided to go on stage. Yes. Why stage? Um, <laughs> they say it's those who truly have that penchant for acting, you know, that go on stage and, and risk it or bear it all on a stage. But yes. tell us uh, what your reason is. Um, I think for me, good morning. Um, morning. Uh, this year, I've just decided to do things that scare me. Hmm. You know, things that take me out of my box as an actor. Okay. Um, so it's not just TV, it's not just film, it's mm. not just what you're allowed to do. Okay, take two. Mm. Let's go for another take. Yeah. You know, it is you, the audience. Hmm. What they see is what they get. Okay. So, um, yeah, and I think the dream of every actor really is to be on stage. Wow. Because that's what, it's alive. You hmm. know, you can feel the audience reaction hmm. immediately. You know if you're hitting it, you know if you're not. Mm. So, um, yeah, so those are some of the reasons that I just decided, okay, let's wrap this year off with a bang and start the new one. Okay, like all right. Now, <laughs> I, I have to say I'm, I'm really impressed because uh, there are a uh, few actors who have become social media influencers uh, along the way just because they have a large following. Now, you have quite a large following, and uh, you decided to take them on a journey with yourself and 24 other women. Uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Um, so... The stage play we're doing is Speaking Out. Okay. It's a musical. Mm. Um, so it's brought to you by Doing Circle. Okay. Um, they are an organization who <laughs> have been on the forefront for women empowerment, okay. speaking up for the girl child, mm. speaking up for females, you know, anything that has to do with the girl child, they're always there in the forefront. And so now they are coming on stage to bring these women together yeah. With dancing, with music, with okay. acting, okay. Okay. to give us that stage play that's talking about the girl child, mm. while at the same time entertaining you. Mm. 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 So um, I'm doing it with 24 other women. Yeah. Um, we have names like Onye Kanweno, mm. we have Patience Ozoko, Oof. we have uh, Kate Henshaw, there's me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, people like Oluchi Odi, she went oh, for... Nice. One of those um, musical, I think it's I always mix it up. So, <laughs> competition. Yes. Yeah, a competition. Yes. She's such an amazing singer. So powerful voices. Yes. We have such beautiful singers on that stage. Okay. And I'm already intimidated trying to go really? there. Really? Yeah, because they sing so great. But it must be such a learning experience for you, working amongst women like this. Onyeka, um, you know, Mama G. You know, it's, that must feel uh, like a lot, you know, to take on. Um, have you had any challenges along the way? Um, no, funny enough, they've been very motherly, okay. you know, nurturing, mm. um, helping. Mm. You know, um, these are women who are watching on TV. Yeah. They are such powerful powerhouses. Yeah. And you think, oh, when you get there, you know, they'll be, but they've been teachers, mm. you know, showing you how it's done, helping you, mm. making sure you get better. Mm. Because if one person is good on stage, everybody is good. If one person falters, everybody falters. Yeah. So, you True. know, we're trying to bring this and, you know, patients are like, we're even lovelier in person. Um, Kate Henshaw is such a darling. <laughs> and we have all these um, amazing women. It's just a full show of women empowerment, both in front of the screen and all. I want to mention something. I've noticed even in your delivery right now, you are projecting to an extent <laughs> that you would think you are on a stage. And, and I, I have noted that it's a major difference between actors who are in front of the camera and then those who are on stage. Did you have to make any adjustments with your acting style? Um, yes, I did. Um, on TV, you know, you're taught to calm down a little so yeah. you don't look like you're overacting. <laughs> but okay. on stage, you know, you... You have to bring more mm. because people are not watching you through this 60-inch um, TV. Mm. They are watching you. Some people are at the back of the hall. Mm. So everybody has to experience it. Everybody mm. has to feel it. Mm. So, yeah, you know, there's more mm. when you're on stage. Mm. So, yes, I've had mm. to adjust to that. All right. So um, any, any um, anxiety about how it's going to be received? 
A lot of people have done events and stage performances about women issues before. Not all of them have been successful. So what's your mind uh, towards this one? Um, when we were at the table reading, okay. the first thing we all said when we're done was how much it was entertaining okay. as well as educative. Okay. So it wasn't just someone hammering on something, on something you feel you've heard so many times and now you're bored. Okay. Okay. So at the same time, you're in the moment, you're feeling it. Mm. We have these power dances, these mm. music, these musicals, mm. and it's just, it's definitely not something anybody's going to get bored of. Oh. I'm very sure. Okay. All Maybe right. money back guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So it's going to be great to see you in that light. Uh, but uh, honestly, in the social media space, you have qu been quite alive there as well. And of course, on screen, we mentioned a little earlier that uh, that you have a movie with FIOR as well that came out some time uh, back. Oh, yeah. uh, so you want to touch on that? Oh, yeah. Um, I saw that while well, I was waiting. Thank okay. you very much for saying that. <laughs> so um, last year, I went into directing. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so, um, I've directed a couple of short films. Mm. I have a couple coming out next year. Amazing. I've also been um, producing mm. since this year. Um, so I'm just, you know, trying to shuttle between in front of the camera and mm. behind. Okay. Trying okay. to do more, you know, yeah. things that I've learned on the job. Trying to put in more, mm. making the films that I am also very happy with. Okay. You know, mm. and yeah, so I've just been both in front of the camera mm. and behind a lot mm. this year. Mm. And it's been, so far, it's been good. All right. It's been good. All right. And honestly, it's, it's a pleasure having you here with us. Um, uh, FI is a friend of the house. And uh, watching another, when they say another love story, I have to ask, what makes that particular love story different from the average uh, love story we've seen in films? So um, I like things with a twist at the end. Okay. I like just a little twist. Mm. You know, so you have rewatch value. So when you're watching it later, you're like, oh, yeah. You know, um, so that was, it, it has two titles. It is both a love story and a stalker story. Oh. Yeah. So goodness. when you get to the end, you see that, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not really a love story the way I thought about it. All right. All yeah. right. All right. Don't let too much out of exactly. the bag. Exactly. Don't let too much out of the bag. But it's actually an amazing pleasure to have you back here. Thank you look you. amazing. Uh, good luck with the project. And uh, yeah, I love musicals. I have a feeling this is going to be a really on. good one. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait.